Today's video is not going to be a wrap, unfortunately. We're going to talk about early progression for the new servers and when should you use four stars to replace those three stars and which monsters to replace them with. So technically, this will be a video of like best nap fours. If you like all my videos and like my content, hit the sub button, hit the like button, hit that bell dingy dingy thing so you know when I post the video. Let's go, baby. Tip of the day. As you see, I do have an alt account on the EU server. I don't know how active I'm going to be on this because it's hard to manage two accounts. I have one playing down here on my phone and one playing on my computer. But today's tip is pretty much what I explained literally in my rap guide. My cleef is level 40. I'm close to the end of act three. I'd probably already be done by now, but I had to sleep. And as you see, I'm only using Konomiya, Shannon, and Celia. That's my main plan on this account, is to get as far as I can with just three stars, four stars, and monster story monsters. But what I'm telling you is you can progress and be patient with everything else. I still have my selective summon. All my summons right now are going into the Fire Desert Queen banner, but I'm not saving them. I'm just keep summoning because all I'm trying to do is get dupes of Garuda, Pixie, and Fairies so I can max skill them because these three stars are going to benefit you the most because I currently only have one Devilmon. Even if I use a Nat 5, it's not going to get max skilled and it's going to be doo-doo. I don't even have enough to max a four star unit. So four star units will also be doo doo. So I'm just focusing on these three star units. That's it. But as you can see, I'm only focusing on three units. Fire Fairy, Water Garuda, and Wind Pixie. I'm getting them to 70. I'm going to max awaken them. And I'm not doing anything else except for my boy Bulldozer. But everything else, I am being patient. Until I get enough skill ups to max a nat 4 monster and also enough devil mons to max out a 5 star monster. I'm 99.9% .9 positive that we're getting the Bastet event. So that'll either be a Bastet or a Desert Queen segment which I hope to pull in this banner. I would not assume that the Desert Queen event is going to be the same as it was on the NA server. I feel like they're going to nerf it. If they don't. I'm going to get enough Desert Queens to max out a Bastet and a Sekhmet early game. That is going to be huge. So until I get stuck in raids or I get enough skill ups, all I'm focusing on are these three monsters. The more you know. Alright, so let's talk about first the selective tickets that we are receiving already and one we're going to receive near future. This is why I tell you about holding the selective summon because we will get a ticket that gives us an actual nat 5 selective ticket where you can choose between fire valk water desert queen and wind sky dancer. In my opinion in these three wind dancer chasun is the best of the three to pick for you. Why because you getting water desert queen already in an event. There's no reason to get her. Chasun is underrated. She can balance HP through heal blocks and she has an attack buff and an AoE heal. She also gives herself continuous heal over time. Fire Valk was meta, but then they nerfed the resurrections. Fire Valk is still good, but I think not worth it right now. Maybe if they change resurrections again in the future. Now we also have received a nat 4 selective ticket. I'm going to tell you three options that you should probably go with with this NAF4 selective ticket. This is in no order, and this is mainly for free to play. First of all, you need to save this until you actually need a unit, because over time you're going to be summoning. You might pull this monster that you want from this selective ticket. So be patient, but when you finally need a monster, like really need one, for your Nat 4 selective ticket, choose between Fire Epicon Priest, Water Howl, or Wind Martial Cat. If you do not summon any of these three monsters over the time, then get one of these three. 
Fire Priest will help you everywhere, plus TOA. Lulu will help you pretty much everywhere, especially when you need a cleanse. And Wind Marshal Cat is by far the best fire, water, wind, four star damage dealer. The easiest to build and the most damage. Oh, and for the light and dark ticket that you have, go Dark Harpy 99.99% of the time. If you already have Dark Harpy, then just go Grim Reaper. He's crazy good. If you're Clee for Orbia, you can go Garuda for Light Spire. But again, let's talk about main four star units that you would want to replace the three star units with of the Holy Trinity. What's the Holy Trinity of four stars? What four stars is a good team to replace these three stars with eventually? In my opinion, the second step for free to play for a team comp is actually a variety of one five star unit, one four star unit, and one three star unit especially with how resources work. However, for funsies, I'm gonna give you some different team comps to replace the Holy Trinity with. The first team would be Fire Harpoo Colleen, Wind Epicon Priest Rena, and Wind Marshal Cat Naomi. This is a fire, wind, water team with an attack buff, with a shield, with a defense buff, with a cleanse, with a heal block, and you have Wind Marshal Cat putting out crit damage taken up and bleeds and doing a lot of damage. Now let's switch it up a bit. Depending on the situation, you may need to switch out some units. Water Inagami Akaru, really good underrated unit. Has provoke, reflect damage, and counterattacks. Counterattack is defense based as well, and he gives himself defense up. Second teammate for Water Inagami, Fire Epicon Priest Chloe. Heals and invincibility. Another wind damage dealer, Wind Mystic Witch Cilia. A monster store unit who is actually underrated. You will be able to use her for water directly. She has AoE damage. She has an unrecoverable heal block and damage taken up. Let's switch it up one more time for a third team comp. Wind Penguin Knight Mav in the front line. Applies a skill acceleration to all allies and removes a damage over time while having an AoE provoke and a level 1 heal over time to himself. Mav is a great frontline tank. You need to support the heal and cleanse and that's Water Howl Lulu. As a single target heal to whoever he heals plus himself and applies defense up and has an AoE heal that removes a harmful effect. And your fire damage dealer for this team is Fire Lich and Tarez. And Tarez. Fire Lich. I don't know. He gives himself his own attack and crit rate up buff and decreases the cooldown of his first skill. His first skill is actually awesome. It's an AoE that pulls everyone into the center. He also gets life steal from this skill and defense penetration if he is at max health. Some notable mentions if you're Orbia, then Fire Harg is really good for Orbia. Skill acceleration, skill cooldowns. Water Lich is really good for the Fire Roads dungeon. By far the best unit for that. Wind Griffin Bernard is really good for just farming. Farming repeat quests. This goes for Remy as well. It's that movement speed up buff, which is huge. If you need a buff strip, Wind Emigami Ramahan is good. That's all he's made for is just to remove buffs. And now for the notable mention 4 star light and darks that you should not ignore. Light Mystic Witch Linda, Light Cowgirl Lauren, Light How Shoo Shoo, of course, he's stacked. Light Epicon Priest Iona, Dark and Nagami Crow, by far the best damage dealer for four star units. When there is a ton of debuffs, aka world bosses and raids. Dark Amazon Mara, Dark Cowgirl Cassie, Dark Hard Croa, one of the best support units in the game for raids. And Dark Lich is crazy good. But like I said before, I wouldn't use a 4 star unit until you can at least, at the least, skill it halfway. Or have one of the skills already maxed out. Because these 3 star units will outperform any of them if they're not skilled. That's it for today's video. People were asking me about the 4 stars to replace the 3 stars with. So that's what today's video was. If you like all my videos and content, Sub, like, ding, ding, a bell. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.